These days, we rarely sit alone, taking time to listen, listen to our hearts, our souls. Not because we don't know, but because we do. That frightening question that sends us reeling, just three words that shake us to the core of our being. Who are you? It lingers and roams in our deepest chambers. We don't dare to let it out, afraid of what it might be saying or what it won't. Because, trust me, it won't name the job you do, the hubbers you love, your favorite color or shoes, not your sex or your skin, not your country, not your favorite sin. Who are you? The question won't be answered just by listing what you do, what you've done, bad or good. Whether it's bitter or sweet, you can't know just by the skin of the fruit. Yet, the fruit does prove the tree, the water proves the source. Is it salty, is it fresh? Does it quench the thirst you've had from birth? What river do you see giving life to your tree? Who are you? You might be mistaken, thinking your lovers will answer. Please, when will you awaken? When will you stop opening that door? Hearing I love you 50 times more still has you knowing less, making yet another X. With your heart bleeding on the floor, calling yet another who can never restore, never heal. Who doesn't even know your real name, doesn't know the truth, the pain you've been through, who can never answer, who are you? But there's a wind that is blowing. No one knows where it's going or where it comes from. There's a lover that's looking, that's been dying to see you, who can enter your heart and reconstruct that mirror you've broken in pieces, shattered to bits, removed from your view for the fear that it would reveal the true essence of you. Fear no longer, my child, for there's a father that's waiting, who sees his child through the mud, through the lies that are weighing down on your soul. He'll restore, he'll renew. He won't fear what he'll find, for as his hands form the stars, so he knows who you are. And forever the question that has haunted your heart, who are you, will be answered, a child of God.